Every day we get closer to Marvel Spider-Man 2. Every day we get closer to that rumored PlayStation showcase, which is said to be taking place sometime this month. And now we might know when exactly, or at least the week exactly, it's gonna happen. We also got some news from the current narrative director at Insomniac Games. He dished a little bit about what he thinks in regards to the work at Insomniac on Marvel Spider-Man 2. So there's a lot to talk about today. And before we get into it, I need you to hit that thumbs up button because we gotta share some hype together for Marvel Spider-Man 2. And on that last video, you guys showed some incredible support. So thank you so much for that. I genuinely appreciate it. But there's still 60% of you that are not subscribed to the channel so let's change that because guys trust me when i say that once those gameplay trailers start dropping once we start getting a ton of trailers for this game and the marketing is in full force i'm gonna be bringing you guys so much content you wouldn't believe this right here is gonna be your one-stop shop for all things marvel spider-man 2 related i can promise you that much and with that being said let's get in now to the news that i got for you guys starting off with a quote that comes from john paquette who like i said is the narrative director working at insomniac games currently on spider-man 2 you see insomniac loves to put together these awesome twitch streams where they just stream whatever game sometimes it could be spider-man either on the pc or the remastered version of the ps5 whatever the case may be or just a variety of games that they like to play and try out on the channel and in this instance they were playing spider-man they were running through the shocker boss battle which is a really great one i love that set piece in the bank it's so much fun and john paquette was on the live stream and ended up dishing a little bit about marvel spider-man 2 check this out boy am i excited about spider-man 2 um you know there's obviously not much i can say but boy are, are we really working hard um to try and make sure that, that this is the best game we've ever made and and uh we can't wait to share it with, with y'all. Now, I know that the headlines reading all across the world are Guy at his own workplace says he's excited for the thing he's working on. I understand that there's no way John's going to go on that stream and say, you know, I don't think we're doing the best job with Spider-Man 2. But the fact that he is saying that the folks at Insomniac are working to make it the best game that they've ever made, that is a really high bar to set. And especially after the pressure that they had for making that first game just even good, I can only imagine the level of pressure that they're feeling for Spider-Man 2 to one up how great that first game was and as well how great Miles Morales was. So if they're really aiming for the sky, if they're trying to make this the best game from Insomniac that we've ever gotten, then this could potentially be game of the year. And every time we get just a new piece of information for Spider-Man 2 and all these little quotes coming from the developers, Developers, I'm reminded a lot about what the folks at Rocksteady did with the Batman Arkham franchise. You know, first we get Arkham Asylum, this incredibly atmospheric game that really lets you fill in the shoes of Batman and creates just overall a cool Batman experience, whether you're a comic fan, a film fan, or just a fan of the character. But then Batman Arkham City comes along and it's not just a cool Batman experience. It's not just a cool Batman game. It's one of the greatest games ever made. And I know it might be crazy to say, but I can see a lot of parallels right now to what Insomniac is doing with the spider-man franchise but just looking at the hype surrounding marvel spider-man 2 hearing that quote from john paquette i can't help but feel that they're really gonna do it that they might nail spider-man 2 the same way that rock said he nailed arkham city but of course the million dollar question which is starting to rack up to maybe even a billion dollar question when will we see more well as i mentioned a lot of the rumors have been pointing to this month being the month that a playstation showcase will be arriving and those rumors circulated from a very well-trusted insider, Jeff Grubb, who tweeted yesterday to get the pot stirring once again. Jeff Grubb tweeted, his summer game mess has an update. That timing on the PlayStation Showcase is right as of now. And he included a screenshot that said the week of May 25th, PlayStation Showcase. The thing is, though, is that it could be even earlier than the week of May 25th. You see, Jeff Grubb clarified saying, I said week of May 25th because that's probably the latest that it could happen, but it could happen earlier. I just don't want to say the week of May 21st and that people get mad when it doesn't happen on a Sunday. And that's incredibly interesting because he is understanding and acknowledging that people might give him some crap if it doesn't end up happening on something like the week of the 21st. So if he's very confident in reporting that it's coming the week of May 25th, then I'd say 
in the next two weeks that playstation showcase is coming and it's just about a surefire guarantee and i'm pretty sure that we'll be getting confirmation on that at some point either this week or at the very latest next week and i know that i'm just assuming that spider-man 2 is going to have some sort of gameplay during a playstation showcase even though none of that is officially confirmed in any capacity but i'd say that that is about the safest bet that you can put your bottom dollar on because i mean come on a big playstation showcase the first one that we've had in a year and a half and they're not going to show anything for one of their biggest exclusives that's going to be launching in the fall if there's no gameplay for spider-man 2 during the playstation showcase then there better be just an announcement that a spider-man 2 state of play is coming very soon after that showcase because otherwise i mean nothing's going to happen there's no consequences take your time insomniac playstation but I would be sad you come on i'd be a little sad we don't have to wait long now guys until we find out something until we hear something once that playstation showcase is announced i'm on it i'll talk about it with you guys but we're gonna get excited with that being said now i want to kick it to you guys sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think about that quote from john paquette narrative director at insomniac games and also do you think that playstation showcase is coming when do you think it's gonna drop sound off with your thoughts in the comments below i've been caboose and I'll see you guys later.